How Powerful Are Nuclear Explosions? The first ever nuclear detonation, the United States Trinity Test in 1945, delivered roughly 19 kilotons of explosive energy. Before throwing a tremendous heat wave throughout the desert, the explosion destroyed the tower it stood on and converted the surrounding sand into green glass. The mushroom cloud diminishes over time. However, radioactive fallout in the form of nuclear particles, debris, dust, and ash is left behind, inflicting long-term environmental damage. Because the particles are so light, they are sometimes dispersed far beyond the point of detonation by global wind patterns. As the Cold War intensified in the years following World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union tested bombs with at least 500 times the explosive power. We will compare the 10 largest nuclear tests in history in the video. But before we get into details, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now let's have a look at the 10 largest nuclear explosions in history in this regard. Number 10. Ivy Mike, 1952. Ivy Mike, or Mike, was the first thermonuclear weapon hydrogen bomb to be fully detonated on November 1, 1952. Weighing 140,000 pounds and producing 10.4 megaton explosion, or 690 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. Nuclear fusion is used to augment the explosions of hydrogen bombs, resulting in significantly greater explosive energy than atomic bombs that use nuclear fission. It exploded on the surface of the Marshall Islands, Eun Witak Atoll. The Korean War was raging at the time and the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in the nuclear arms race. The decision to create the hydrogen bomb was the contentious one inside the Truman administration, with some officials opposing it and others supporting it, but President Truman eventually opted to proceed. Number 9. Castle Romeo, 1954 a nuclear bomb was detonated on a barge off the coast of the Bikini Atoll on March 26, 1954. It resulted in an 11 megaton nuclear explosion, or 730 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The test, codenamed Castle Romeo, was conducted just weeks after the Castle Bravo test, which had caused radioactive fallout to reach throughout the Marshall Islands. Castle Romeo was one of the nuclear tests conducted by the United States on the Marshall Islands as part of Operation Castle. Surprisingly, the U.S. was running out of islands on which to conduct tests. Thus, Romeo was the first ever test done on an ocean barge. A nuclear weapon of this energy airburst over New York City's Central Park, according to NukeMap, would create a fireball that would blanket the park and a wave of several thermal radiation that would reach as far as Port Chester. Number 8. Soviet Test 123, 1961 the Soviet Union dropped a 12.5 megaton bomb on the Novaya Zemla archipelago on October 23, 1961, which was nearly 830 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. It is the world's eighth most powerful nuclear bomb ever exploded. It was codenamed Test 123 and served as a warm up for the Tsar Bomba, which would be dropped in the same location a week later. The archipelago had small populations of humans living there before nuclear testing, according to an article published in the journal Polar Geography in 1996. These folks were hunters and trappers. Number 7. Castle Yankee, 1954 Another nuclear bomb detonated on a barge near the Bikini Atoll on May 5, 1954. The yield of the Castle Yankee test was 13.5 megatons, and it is nearly 900 times more powerful than the one dropped on Hiroshima making it the sixth most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated in history. In the years that followed, international pressure grew for a nuclear test ban to be implemented. The Bikini Atoll is a lagoon surrounded by a coral reef, people residing on the atoll before nuclear testing. Because the atoll is still contaminated with radioactive fallout, the population was evacuated before the testing and has never been permitted to return. Number 6. Castle Bravo, 1954 in a test codenamed Castle Bravo, the United States detonated a 15 megaton nuclear weapon on the Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands on March 1, 1954. It was the sixth most powerful nuclear bomb detonation in history, and it exploded on the ground rather than dropped by air. According to an article published in 2017 by the Atomic Heritage Foundation, the yield was about two and a half times higher than expected, resulting in nuclear fallout spread across the Pacific for about 7,000 square miles exposing residents of the Marshall Islands, U.S. military personnel, and the crew of a Japanese fishing trawler to high levels of radiation. Some residents had to be evacuated, and the Marshallese people had a higher rate of cancer than the rest of the world. 
The test at Castle Bravo, as well as the damage it caused to the locals, sparked worldwide demonstrations against nuclear weapon testing. The U.S. government compensated island residents in subsequent decades, and retired U.S. military soldiers filed a lawsuit against the government in 1984, alleging that the U.S. administration had understated the radioactive threat. Number 5. Soviet Test 174, 1962 The USSR conducted a series of nuclear tests on Novaya Zemlya from August 5th to September 27th, 1962. Test 174 is regarded as the fourth most powerful nuclear explosion in history. It exploded with a force of around 20 megatons, or a thousand times that of the Trinity Bomb. Everything within three square miles would be incinerated by a bomb of this magnitude. Number 4. Soviet Test 173, 1962 The Soviet Union launched a 19.1 megaton nuclear bomb over the Novaya Zemlya archipelago on September 25, 1962. It is around 1,270 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb, making it the fourth most powerful nuclear weapon ever exploded. This bomb was never given a name and was merely known as Test 173. An intriguing note, the Cuban Missile Crisis occurred a few weeks after this bomb was dropped, bringing the Soviet Union and the United States to the verge of nuclear war. The Soviet Union sent nuclear missiles to Cuba during the crisis. President John F. Kennedy pondered striking the locations but finally decided to impose a naval blockade to prevent the arrival of more nuclear weapons in Cuba. In exchange for the United States removing its nuclear missiles from Turkey, the Soviet Union agreed to take down the missiles. Number 3. Soviet Test 147-1962 The Soviet Union dropped a 21.1 megaton over the Novaya Zemlya archipelago on August 5, 1962, which is part of the Russian Arctic. The third most powerful nuclear detonation in history, it is simply known as Test 147, and unlike the Tsar Bomba, it does not have a nickname. This bomb is 1,400 times more powerful than the one that dropped on Hiroshima. Despite its enormous strength, this nuclear explosion is less well known than some of the others on the list. According to the website NukeMap, a nuclear weapon like this would unleash a blaze that would encompass the entire park and an intense wave of thermal radiation that would cover the entire city and reach as far as Stamford, New York. Alex Wellerstein is the creator of NukeMap. Number 2. Soviet Test 219, 1962 According to a paper published in the journal Nature in 2021, the Soviet Union dropped a rather unpleasant Christmas present over the test site on the Novaya Zemlya Archipelago on December 24, 1962. With the bomb exploding at a height of 2.3 miles above sea level, which holds the second largest glacier complex in the Arctic. This nuclear weapon was less than half as strong as the Tsar Bomba bomb, but it was still the second most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated at 24.2 megatons. It's also 1,600 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. It didn't acquire a distinctive nickname like the Tsar Bomba, because it was the second most powerful nuclear weapon. It's simply known as Test 219. As a result of a test prohibition pact signed in 1963 prohibiting above-ground testing, Test 219 would be one of the last nuclear bombs launched from the sky by the Soviet Union. Further tests would be performed underground. Number 1. Tsar Bomba 1961 Tsar Bomba, also known as Big Ivan, required a specially constructed plane since his cargo was too big to transport on a regular plane. To give this plane time to escape, the bomb was hooked to a massive parachute. The 50,000 kiloton explosion demolished an abandoned settlement 34 miles away and triggered a 5.25 magnitude earthquake in the surrounding area. It was originally intended to be a 100,000 kiloton bomb, but the Soviet Union reduced its yield to half of that. Tsar Bomba's mushroom cloud pierced the stratosphere, reaching a height of over 37 miles, roughly six times that of a commercial aircraft. The two bombs that were detonated on Hiroshima and Nagasaki had devastating results. Even though their explosive yields were barely a tenth of the explosive yields of the 10th greatest explosions, the destructive potential of current nuclear weapons is truly incomprehensible, and as history has shown, the results can be unforeseeable. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end. If you found this video interesting, kindly give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe too. Goodbye for now.